Hello and welcome back to Do It Live Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how you can create your very own pyramid packaging layout. So just like, like this in this picture over here. So to begin, we are going to first create our layout on an A3 size paper. So I'm going to create a new A3 size artboard which looks like this. And to begin, make sure you've changed your colors back to the default color which is fill color white and the stroke color as black. And to create that packaging layout, we need, you need to always remember that there are four different layers. The first layer is the offset layer, second layer, I mean the offset layer is where you put your design and the second layer is called the folding layer, the folding layer where you display the folding lines and the third layer is the cut out lines and finally the fourth layer the crop marks. So to begin, we are going to shift, we are going to first take the rectangle tool, click one time on the stage, and we are going to create a square base pyramid with the size of 100 millimeters. So just key in 100 mm and go click OK, just like that. Now take your selection tool, just move this square to one side. Okay. Now change your shape tool to the polygon tool and just click one time on the stage on the screen on the artboard just change the sides to like three sides ignore the radius not important click ok then use your transform panel on top change the width to 100 millimeters and the height to 100 millimeters as well okay so this doesn't mean that the height of the pyramid is going to be like 10 or 10 cm or 100 mm because when you fold the pyramid is going to like be be, be less than 10 mm so you do your own calculations i'm not going to teach maths over here it's not really that important anyway what you need to know is just the concept of how to build that layout shape okay now take this triangle hold down your shift key and rotate it 90 degrees like that and one thing very good about illustrator is that they have made it very smart so we can create perfect alignments using illustrator but before we do that make sure you go to view on the top menu and make sure that your smart guides are turned on so turn on smart guides then go back to your shape select the triangle and just slowly drag the triangle until you see a, a purple horizontal line to align it together with the square and then just slowly move it near closer until you see a cross a purple cross and then in the middle it says intersect once you see this you can quickly you can you can safely remove release your mouse key so now it's perfectly aligned so but just in case you're not sure whether it's perfectly aligned or not select everything take your shape builder tool and just drag across and just build build it across here like this okay your shape builder tool probably it's inside here this is your shape builder tool right take the shape builder tool and try to build the shape and if you see the lines in the middle disappear that means your shape is, has been perfectly aligned now go ahead and hit command z to undo now the next step we're gonna just, we are going to take the selection tool and select your triangle only go to edit copy and then go to edit again and choose paste in front so now there is a second triangle that is directly pasted on top of the first triangle you won't see it because they are all together and they are in like the same color same appearance so there's nothing you can do about it but that doesn't matter so now you know that there are two triangles on top of your on top of each other now with the first triangle selected after you have pasted it you will only be selecting one triangle take the rotate tool the rotate tool is over here or you can press R on the keyboard take the rotate tool and then come over here this is the tricky part here you know the rotate tool has a, a center point that you can choose from I mean the, the center of rotation so we're gonna come to this anchor point over here make sure you see the word anchor and then you go ahead and click one time so now the, the center of rotation will be positioned here. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to just, when you have already placed the center of rotation, your cursor will become a black color arrow, literally the move tool. Now drag this anchor over here. Make sure you see anchor. Okay, drag this anchor and join it down here like this. And make sure you see anchor or intersect. Then you can release your mouse like that. Okay. Now just to make sure again, select everything, then take the shape builder tool and build it again. It should be able to remove all the lines that are in between. It's a perfect shape right now, then you can go ahead and click and press undo again. Now, 
The next part for the pyramid, we are lacking of two more sides due to the square base we have to like create two more sides. Now select these two triangles, again we're going to edit, copy, go to edit and choose paste in front. Choose paste in front and we will re repeat the rotation process. Select the rotation tool, come over here to the anchor point and place the center of position rotation here. Then come over here, drag this anchor and the same thing, make sure you join it until it says anchor. Just to be safe, take the shape builder tool again, select everything on stage, take the shape builder tool and try building everything again. It should all be like that. All the lines in between should all be removed. Then go ahead and undo. Then the next part, we are going to create the flap for our pyramid. So take your pen tool, I'm just going to be creating one flap for you. You can create the, the rest of the flaps on your own. Take the pen tool, but before that, make sure you deselect so you won't like accidentally minus out any anchor or delete any anchor. Then take the pen tool, come closer here, make sure you see the word anchor, click one time. And then come over this part, click anchor. When you see anchor again, click another time. And then just come over here, click one time, let's just draw a some simple shapes like that. Just click one time and then just connect the line so you get a perfect shape like this. Now again, finally we just have to like check the shape again whether it's correct or not. So we just select everything, take the shape builder tool and just try building it up again. So you can see that all the lines in between have disappeared. So we have a perfect align packaging layout of a pyramid. So now I'm going to just undo this, undo this, all right? Now this is the basic layer. So go to your layer window, all right? Rename this layer, layer one as the offset layer. Let's rename it as the offset layer. Yes, the offset layer. Now drag this offset layer and drop it on top of the new layer icon to duplicate it. Then change the offset copy layer to to folding, F-O-L-D-I-N-G, okay, the folding layer, all right, then select this offset layer, okay, but before that, lock the folding layer and then hide it, now select everything on the offset layer, take your shape builder tool and we're finally going to build it into one single shape, we're not going to like undo anymore, just build everything like that, then select this shape, offset shape, and then duplicate this offset layer again. So you get an offset copy. Now rename this offset copy as cut out. Okay, as cut out and then bring this layer and put it on top of the folding layer. Lock it and hide it. Now select the offset layer again. Go to effect, go to path, select offset path. Now change the offset to three millimeters. You can use preview to see the appearance and click OK like that then go to object and choose expand appearance so the path will be expanded onto the line new lines over here okay like that so now we have the we have three layers the offset layer the folding layer and the cutout layer and and later on i will show you how to create the crop marks on the fourth layer now here we are and here i'm going to add this photo of this pattern, I'm going to just going to drag this image file here and drop it onto my offset layer. Okay, just drag it on, put, put it on my offset layer. Now right click on this picture and just select arrange and choose send to back. So it will be sent to the back and therefore review our offset layer. Now what you will need now what you need to do is just resize this pattern. Okay, you can actually get patterns from anywhere, just download it or just draw it on your own. But when you resize this pattern, make sure that it's not smaller than the offset layer, offset shape. Okay, once you get, some, get something like that, select both the offset and the pattern. Go, the op, go to object, choose clipping mask and then make clipping mask. And then therefore now the, the entire pattern is now mapped onto our offset layer. This is our packaging. Now, go ahead and lock the offset layer and then turn on the folding layer. Turn on the folding layer. Now unlock the folding layer. Select everything on the folding layer. Go to your color window. Turn off the fill color. And then go to your stroke window. 
Alright, the stroke color matters a lot. If let's say your design is like in black color or very dark color, you just have to like change your stroke color to white color. But in my case, the pattern is very light, so I'll just leave it as black. Then go to your stroke window and click on and click on the dash line to create the folding lines. You know, like dash lines, they represent lines that you should fold, places that you should fold. Okay, so now you have the folding lines. Now go back to your layers window, lock the folding layer, and now we are going to like review the cutout layer. Show the cutout layer, unlock it, select it, select the cutout layer. Now go to your color window and just like turn off the fill color. So now you can see the, the lines that are surrounding the pyramid layout is solid. So anything that is solid, it means that you should cut it. Okay, you should cut it. Now for the last part, lock the cutout layer. We are finished with the layout already. So now we are going to create crop marks. So it makes it give it helps us to be able to like cut properly so that we don't cut crookedly. So now create a new layer, the fourth layer, and just name it as crop mark. Okay, crop mark, C-R-O-P-M-A-R-K. Now take the pen tool. It's very tricky to be able to draw these crop marks. So take your pen tool and just simply choose any anchor that you would like to start. Click on that anchor, then just follow, bring your pen tool to follow according to the path and find the next anchor. Click one more time so that you draw a line that is completely aligned to that line that you want to cut. Now take your direct selection tool click on the final anchor and just start dragging it outwards okay you will take note you you have to notice that they will as you as you slowly drag it out okay you will see that on the on the other anchor you will see the words line extension and then on the other side on the anchor that you are dragging you should make sure that you are seeing the word on if you don't see the word on that means your line is like out of proportion it's it's out of alignment so make sure you see the word on and therefore the line stays on its course. Release it, then do the same with the other anchor, just extend the line outwards until you get something like that. Now this is a perfect line, it is perfectly aligned to the line, to the edge of your packaging design layout so we can like properly cut it. But that's not yet complete, we have to take the scissors tool, take the scissors tool and just trim off the set, the center section, the middle section of this line. Just cut one time here and come over here and cut it another time. Then take your selection tool and select the middle section and delete it. So now you have a crop mark. Very nicely done over here. Now I'm going to just show you a few more crop marks and then you are going to like create, do the rest. I, I, I believe you can you can be able to do the rest on your own. Now continue with the pen tool. Let's do with this line because this line is a bit tricky. Now again, should find the anchor that you want and come over here and find the other anchor. Now take your direct selection tool, select this anchor. Now you cannot just draw your extend your line up to here. You are going to like destroy your drawing. So just drag this line, make sure the on is still there and drag it outside of your packaging like that. And for this part, just like normal, just drag it out, make sure you see the on, and take the scissors tool, cut here, and cut there, and take the selection tool and delete the middle part like that. And that is how you draw crop marks. So once you are done, you can actually do, do you can actually go and print your design. But when you print your design, make sure you hide the folding lines because you don't want the folding lines to show on, on, your, on your design. It's really ugly. The reason why there's the folding line is just it, it just acts as, as a guide for you to, to tell you where you should fold. It does not mean that you should like print the folding lines. But for education purpose, if you're like going to submit a homework, you could probably show the folding line to see how your how your entire thing has being designed so that's all for today i hope you learned something in today's tutorial and if you like this tutorial make sure you give me a like a thumbs up and share this video and make sure don't forget to subscribe at the bottom i'll see you in the next tutorial once again thank you very much